What's the deal, boys and girls? It's your boy, Fitty Shades, Mark Gray, hanging out around the way today for the ShadowLeague.com in Greensboro, North Carolina. It's Aggies and Eagles on Saturday in what amounts to be the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference Football Championship game. We're here sponsored by For The Fan. You know, For The Fan, rocking the suite, Morgan State gear. You need to get with the program. Thanks to my boy, Mike Hinton, for hooking me up. Look, we're about to lose a team in the conference, y'all. Hampton is leaving for the Big South. Congratulations to them on a smart physical decision. When your travel is cut and you only have to travel in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia, hey, it's a good look. That's the Aggies marching up, marching up behind us right now as they get ready for Saturday's showdown. Nonetheless, hear my thoughts on Hamptons leaving. We'll miss that trip. It's a great part of America. It's a wonderful place to visit. However, Hampton fans do not travel. And it's not going to be such a bad loss for the MEAC. You still got places like here in North Carolina, A&T, Florida, and m Bethune, Cookman, South Carolina State, where football is a passion. I got the sense in Hampton all the time that it was just one of those things. You know, not that they really had fans, they had supporters. And it was great to have Hamptonian support, but did it really turn into butts and in seats or dollars and cents? I don't think that it did. Bottom line is this. You gotta do what you gotta do to make money. And Hampton is taking the steps necessary to make that money. It's not like they're selling out being an HBCU because, well, how are you gonna sell out when you don't have a bleep to piss in or a window to throw it out? You feeling me? So congratulations on a fine decision by Hampton, but it ain't the end of the world for the MEAC. You still got fine programs and you got a conference that has a name brand and recognition. But here's the deal. Be careful what you ask for, you just might get it. Hampton can only hope to be what Tennessee State has been in the Ohio Valley Conference, and that seems to be a move that teams are following. There's a rumor that Florida A&M is considering making a move, as well as other teams bolting for the conference. So i just like to say one thing. When you get to the other side and you're treated like a second-class citizen, remember, that was your choice. And I'm not quite sure every predominantly majority uh, conference is going to be welcoming of an HBCU into their league. I think Hampton is a brand that brings a lot to the table in the Big South, and they can sk still schedule some HBCUs to keep around. However, HBCU sports will survive, the MEAC will survive, and flourish. I hope the same thing that can be said for Hampton as well, both financially and championship-wise, because this not only represents an enormous business opportunity, but a tremendous championship challenge if they hope to add more trophies to that beautiful case inside Armstrong Stadium. Hit me up at The Sports Groove, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with your thoughts. We're gonna miss you, Hampton, as we close the door on your MEAC legacy. Hopefully, it's the dawn of a new beginning. It's your boy, Fitty Shades, Mark Gray. Don't forget, check out our exclusive content from here in Greensboro coming up this week at theshadowleague.com. Thanks to my boy, Mike Hinton. Remember, the fly gear now coming at you on the HBCU look, courtesy of For the Fan.